the 2016 Volvo XC90 T8. Since 2002, the XC90 has been praised for its marvelous build quality, family-friendly design and many great safety and convenience features. But while the SUV segment changed continuously, Volvo opted to keep its range-topping vehicle essentially unaltered for more than a decade, which resulted in the XC90 starting to show its age in recent years. I don't know whether the Swedes did this in order to focus on the second-gen SUV, but if they did, I totally understand why they let the XC90 become one of the most dated vehicles on the market. The redesigned 2016 XC90 was updated in every department, gaining brand new styling, a rebuilt, futuristic interior, the company's latest in terms of convenience and safety features and a host of all-new engines. In 2013, Derek Crabb, Volvo's vice president of powertrain engineering, said the company's upcoming smaller and more intelligent engines will turn V-8s into dinosaurs, and it seems that statement has morphed into reality. Volvo ditched both the 4.4-liter V8 and the 3.2-liter inline-6 from under the XC90's hood, replacing them with a range of gasoline and diesel four-cylinders. What's more, the four-pot exclusive SUV also received, for the first time in its lifetime, a hybrid drivetrain that pumps out 400 horsepower while claiming to return outstanding fuel economy. Updated 12 April 2016, Volvo dropped a very cool commercial for its latest XC90 plug-in hybrid SUV. Hit play to see what makes this XC90 special. Keep reading for the full rundown on Volvo's most advanced and powerful hybrid yet. Exterior As with most hybrids, the XC90 T8 is identical to its gasoline and diesel cousins as far as styling goes. If it weren't for the additional fuel cap on the front fender and the T8 badge on the tailgate, the hybrid SUV could have easily be mistaken for a conventional XC90. Small differences aside, the T8 benefits from the company's new design language that debuted with the XC90. The redesigned front fascia now incorporates a new, modern grille and thinner headlamps fitted with Thor's hammer daytime running LED lights, while the hood's muscular lines enhance the vehicle's sporty character. Around back, the XC90 is no longer the bulky SUV we've known since 2002, having its tailgate, taillights and bumper updated to a more modern design. The dual exhaust configuration is there to signal this hybrid is no slouch. I am no SUV guy by any stretch of the imagination, but the second-gen XC90 is downright gorgeous. Interior Naturally, the interior of the XC90 remains unaltered with the addition of the T8 badge. Soft Nappa leather can be found throughout the cabin, complemented by wood trim and a crystal gear lever made by famed Swedish glass maker Orifers. Thanks to Volvo's new scalable product architecture, the XC90 is also incredibly roomy. While such a feat is hard to maintain on hybrid models, Volvo has managed to overcome this challenge by placing the battery in the tunnel that runs from underneath the dashboard toward the rear of the car. As a result, the battery does not impact the amount of room available inside the cabin and allows the hybrid to come with a third row of seats. What's more, it appears the battery's placement gives the XC90 a low and more balanced center of gravity, making it easier to handle and safer to drive. Needless to say, Volvo left nothing to chance. Drivetrain The second-gen XC90 received no less than five powertrains, but the T8 combo is by far the most interesting of them all. The first every hybrid drivetrain to motivate this Swedish SUV brings together a 2.0-liter, turbocharged and supercharged, four-cylinder gasoline engine and a 60 kW electric motor connected to the rear axle. Its combined output sits at 400 horsepower and 472 pound-feet of torque, and the power travels to the wheels through an 8-speed automatic transmission. The conventional, gasoline unit comes with Volvo's brand new, twin-engine technology, which uses a supercharger to fill in the bottom end of the power range and a turbocharger to provide extra power higher in the rev range. The technology makes this engine one of the most fuel-efficient four-bangers and enables it to help the hybrid drivetrain return up to 59 mpj on the US driving cycle. When driven on electric power alone, the XC90 can travel for 25 miles. When driving the XC90, drivers can choose between five different modes, hybrid, pure electric, AWD, power, and save. 
While the first three are self-explanatory, power mode unleashes the SUV's sportier side. The electric motor's superior response and instant torque is used on startup, while the gasoline engine kicks in as the SUV gets up to speed. Volvo says the combination offers better torque at lower revs, similar to that of a large displacement V8. Given the XC90T8 needs only 5.9 seconds to hit 62 miles per hour from a standing start, this isn't just a marketing scheme. Drivetrain specifications. Prices. Competition. Volkswagen Touareg Hybrid. When it comes to hybrid SUVs, the Volkswagen Touareg is one of the first to receive such a drivetrain. Unveiled in 2010, the German SUV uses the same powertrain as the previous generation Porsche Cayenne S Hybrid, meaning it combines a supercharged, 3.0-liter, V6 engine rated at 333 horsepower and a 47-pony electric motor that generate a total output of 380 horsepower and 428 pound-feet of torque. The Touareg's drivetrain mates to an 8-speed automatic transmission and enables the SUV to sprint from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 6.5 seconds before reaching a top speed of 150 miles per hour. These performance numbers come with a fuel economy of 24 mpg on the highway and 20 mpg in the city, figures that are far from threatening for the XC90. Pricing for the Touareg Hybrid starts from $64,745. Read our full review on the Volkswagen Touareg Hybrid here. Mercedes-Benz GLE Class Plug-in Hybrid To be renamed GLE Class from 2015, the Mercedes-Benz M-Class will receive its very first hybrid drivetrain with the third-generation mid-cycle refresh. Set to arrive in dealerships for the 2016 model year, the hybrid SUV will look identical to its regular brother as far as styling goes, with only an additional cap revealing this SUV comes with a charging socket. Although the Germans are still mum on details as of December 2014, word has it the SUV will use a drivetrain combining the same units from the C350 plug-in sedan. Specifically, the GLE plug-in will be motivated by a 2.0-liter, four-cylinder mill making at least 200 horsepower and an electric motor incorporated into the 7-speed automatic rated at 80 ponies. On the other hand, due to the vehicle's weight, Mercedes could also opt to use the bi-turbo V6 from the S500 plug-in instead of the 4-banger. Either way, the GLE should outgun the Touareg in terms of fuel economy. Read our full review on the Mercedes-Benz GLE Class Plug-in Hybrid here. Conclusion I was quite impressed with the second-generation XC90 when Volvo unveiled it earlier in 2014 and I feel the same about the T8 Hybrid. This SUV comes with the same stunning exterior design and futuristic interior as its conventional siblings, but with a lot more power and low fuel consumption on top. The T8's a drivetrain comes with no less than 84 extra ponies when compared to the T6 Turbo, and that's a lot of oomph for an SUV that can return up to 59 mpj. The fact that it is also family-friendly with seating for 7 makes it that much more of a great choice in a segment that's getting crowded. There's only one downside to this story, this SUV is likely to become one of the most expensive in its class. Love it innovative engine technology V8 like power battery placement doesn't affect interior space class leading fuel economy state of the art safety. Leave it likely expensive numerous competitors underway updated history. Updated April 16, 2015, Volvo announced prices for the new Volvo XC90 T8 which will be put on sale this summer. Prices will start from $68,100, not including any tax credit incentives or $995 destination charge. Customers will be eligible for a federal tax credit up to an estimated $4,600 in addition to other local and state incentives. If you liked this video, please share your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button.